Hello everyone, welcome to another beginner tip video for Random Flow. This time I'm going to show you how to create your own presets. There are already multiple presets that comes with Random Flow and all you have to do is properly install them using the instructions in the online documentation. Now whenever you see the operator presets drop down menu in a redo panel, it means you can make your own presets. Let's try and make one. You can actually start from an already existing preset and just change the property values to make it different from the original. I'm going to make this create panels that utilizes 50% of the generated islands and leaves only the smallest islands when randomizing. Now before you add a preset, make sure that the subdivision is set to zero to avoid freezes on high resolutions. Click on the plus icon and name this with something you like or preferably one that will help you remember its result. After this, you can use the preset by clicking on it from the operator presets drop down list. You just need to manually increase the subdivision on more low poly source meshes to actually see the result of the randomization. To remove a preset, just click on it from the drop down list and click on the minus sign. Then, looking at the list again, you can see that the preset we made earlier has been deleted. The zero subdivision rule when making a preset only applies to operators like random loop extrude, random panels, random cells, or any random operator which has the cuts or subdivision property. For random operators like random slice, you need to set the amount property to something lower like 100 or 50. And that is it for this video. I hope you learned something new about operator presets. If you have any questions, use the comment section below or the links in the description. Subscribe and hit notify. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.